Of course, he's coming off the loss to Shakur Stevenson, the current unified world champion. That was last October Ooh. in Atlanta. Oh, oh right hand comes in from Ortiz. To land something even harder up top. And see right here, this is the youth right here coming through for Ortiz. He's a tad bit quicker. Good Woo! left hand. Yes. He's able to get in and out. Has a little bit more juice, a little bit more zap in his attacks. Taking advantage of the low points right now from Harry. Jermaine bouncing around like he did the last round, changing the rhythm. Just coming back, fighting with a lot of heart. Harry looking for answers. There's a left hand that comes in from Ortiz as he pushes back. Jamel Herring creates some space, gets around the guard. Stay so he can catch him and capitalize on a mistake. Catch him with something flush and hurt him. It's a good night's round for Ortiz. One round to go. His best round of the fight. Look at what he did in the ninth round. He was 44 of 115 punches Mine thrown. Mine is telling him to respond, but his body is not listening. Early on, using his jab and occasionally Straight left hand down the middle was finding his mark. But then something changed. Midway, Ortiz started finding his rhythm, started mounting his attack, started taking the initiative, throwing his combinations, getting in and out of range. Frustrating, confusing the veteran, Jamel Herring. And he started landing with more regularity throughout the course of this fight. Jamel Herring tend to fade it. He faded drastically on the back end of this fight. Congratulations. Listen, 26 years old, what did you learn about yourself tonight? Uh, I still got a lot of work to do, you know. Uh, but just growing and, you know, going at the pace I'm going, I got to learn quick and I got to pick things up a little bit. But like I said, I'm not afraid of challenges and I'm here to try to prove to that I'm the best of myself, not to anybody else, you know? No, you you weren't afraid of anything tonight. I think, you know, you beat, you beat a champion tonight. Yeah, yeah. Are you not proud of yourself? Uh, yeah, but I feel like I could have done a lot better, a lot cleaner performance. Like I said, I'm hard on myself. I'm always going to be hard on myself. Uh, but much respect to a former world champion. That's definitely uh, an achievement I wanted to do on my career. Does this fight do for you what you wanted it to do, which is announce you in the lightweight division? I hope so. I hope so. People recognize me, and hopefully I get higher-profile fights after this fight. What do you want? Huh? What do you want? Who do you want? I think I might move up to 140, but if there's a good fight, a big fight for a world championship, a big name, at 135, I'll stick around. 140, you got a lot of tough guys over there. If you go to 130 or stay to 135, you owe a debt of gratitude to that champ right there, Jamel Herring.